This is an amazing sight. Just the look of this game, the nostalgia that flows through my body as I look at this. What's going on guys, United Gamer 101 here, and welcome to the newest series on my channel, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Now I guess you could say this isn't exactly new, exactly new. <laughs> um, I did do this before and it failed miserably because I didn't do it well at all. But since YouTube has been on such a high roll, you know, and I want to provide until Monster Hunter Generations comes out later this July, it is time to start our newest Let's Play on the channel, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. For those who do not know, Monster Hunter Freedom 2 and this generation of Monster Hunter has been my favorite Monster Hunter of all time. Now, I have absolutely played this game to death. I mean, thousands and thousands of hours. It is alongside my favorite games of all times like Pokemon and uh, Dark Souls, anything. That is why it will always be one of the main games on my channel. I absolutely love this game. And that is one reason why I'm so excited for Generations to come out in July is because we actually get to go back and revisit these villages that we have right now. Now, for those who are wondering and everything, I'm just going to play this game and, and just enjoy it. We are going to enjoy this game together. If you've never played Monster Hunter um, Freedom 2 or Freedom or Unite, then you have missed out. I recommend going back and playing it if you have a PSP near you or anything. This game is amazing. This is this is where it all started. This was probably the first like takeoff for Monster Hunter. It was around Freedom 2 or Freedom Unite that it actually made a name for itself. I started playing in Freedom, uh, the very first one on the PSP, and I actually went back and played the original on the PlayStation 2. So, I am a little bit of a Monster Hunter veteran. I love Monster Hunter. It is will always be a part of my gaming life and everything. I will never get old of it. Like it doesn't matter how much I play this game. I absolutely love it. Now, we're just going to get straight on into it. We're just going to go ahead and start doing quests. Now, if those people are wondering, like, well, what if you don't do this one consistently again and stuff? Well, the thing is, if you're seeing part one live right now, that means I pretty much have 10 to 15 episodes already recorded and edited. So that means they're going to be coming up, like, every other day for how long? I don't know. What's that? Two weeks? I don't want to do math right now. I actually know that's 15 episodes. That would be like a month. A month's worth of episodes. Now, it's going to be a little bit different playing on the PSP compared to me playing on the um, 3DS, so that's going to be interesting. But we should be just fine. We have the quest. We are going to look for some mountain herbs. And uh, so, yeah, if you are going to enjoy this series and have a lot of time, a lot of fun time, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me realize. Let's try to get 100 likes on this episode. I don't know how many Monster Hunter fans are around or excited for Monster Hunter Generations or who people like came from Dark Souls 3 and you know are still excited to play this and stuff and have a good time. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and show it some love. Oh dude, like the pixelatedness of this game is... I wouldn't change it for anything. I don't want it in HD. I just want to play this. Actually, I do want it in HD. I'm, in, I'm really excited for the 3DS even though that's... You know, HD, but yeah, yeah, you know, it's still, it's still good. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not gonna have auto lock and stuff, so that's gonna be different. I mean, that's how I originally played it and stuff. So we got hot drinks, right? Yeah. I actually, I think we have the, we had the armor suit back at the base. I completely forgot about that, uh, the default armor. And oh crap, I'm, I'm used to Dark Souls and stuff, and oh dude, this is gonna be weird. It's a mix up. All right, let's go take a bit of a hot drink. Let's not get too cold in here. Um, but I'm excited to start this series. I hopefully, hopefully you guys are too. Um, uh, I really want this Let's Play on my channel, uh, just just because it's where it started for me. I mean, with Monster Hunter. I mean, I liked Monster Hunter One. Actually, it's Monster Hunter Two where it started for me. Um, but I mean, it's the, uh, Freedom Two. This is Monster Hunter Freedom Two, but with some a little bit more stuff. It's basically it's basically an expansion pack. Um, so that being said, well, we're getting Mountain Herbs, right? Yeah. Uh, that being said, uh, that I want this on my channel just because it's been here, um, and I want it, it will always be on my channel. I'm really excited for Generations to come out later in July, and I will be doing live streams. I'll be doing a Let's Play. The funny and sucky thing is, uh, when that game comes out in July, I'm gonna be at the beach. I go to the beach. It comes out July 15th, and I leave for the beach July 16th. So that that part really sucks um, because. I'm not going to be able to stream that whole first week. I should get enough episodes recorded that first, like, two days that I can do it before I go to the beach. Oh, we already got five, right? Wow. Oh, we can get some more, some extra Z and some... Let's, let's see, this is Poke Village? Because Kokoto 
is the first one, Monster Hunter Freedom. Freedom. I don't even remember Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate or 3U that are villages. I didn't play 3U that much. I played 4U a pretty good bit. Golly, I'm, I've never gotten this lucky with how much I'm getting gathering. It's, it's a great start for a new series. See, like, even the game is excited that we're doing this. But uh, let's hopefully see so we can, you know, get a lot of people interested in this and, you know, have a good time. If it gets up to it where enough people enjoy it, we can do daily videos every single day. I'll be doing daily videos when um, Generations comes out, but for right now, this is what I'm doing. Uh, so I want to know also in the comment section below, how, who has actually played Monster Hunter Freedom or Freedom 2 or Freedom Unite? Did you, I mean, like, did you play this game and then get to uh, 4U or 3U? Or did you play, like, 3 Ultimate on the Wii? Or three, three on the, or uh, try on the Wii, and then like three ultimate on the Wii, or you know anything like that, and then come back to the PlayStation Portable version. Uh, for me, like I said, I started with Freedom, so I've I've played this game for like almost ten years, maybe. I don't even know when Freedom came out. I'll, I still remember the day. Like, wow, that gave me a lot actually. Um, no, never mind. I thought give me more. They didn't give me much of the fight. Um, but anyways, like. I still remember the very first day that I ever, you know, picked up Monster Hunter. I was in GameStop and just looking around because I used to do that nonstop. I would just look around um, and I would just look at all the cool games. And I saw this one game for the PlayStation Portable. I just got my PSP recently, so I was so excited. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, dude, monsters? Look at these armors. I can collect armors. And it's like, and it has something like over 150,000 different weapons and armors or something big like that. And I was so freaking amped to play that game got it it took me probably two or three months just to beat a wyvern I, and that was gypsaros yep it took me so long to beat him and i beat him with a friend could it be by myself and then kuku was my next one that i fought which you're normally supposed to fight him first so that was interesting but uh i man i absolutely mo love monster hunter um it's i know i'm just talking about how much i love it but you can't I mean, you can not love- no, you can't. Get off this channel. I'm just kidding. You can stay around for Pokemon and whatever you're here for, but, um, yes, fun, fun game. So here we're gonna pick up our kitty cat. Um, the specialty skills, you can focus on those and they can give you some nice buffs and stuff. I don't really focus on that. You know what I do? I try to get the coolest names and, the, and I get all of my cats a different color. That, that's what I've done for the longest time and I don't know. It, it, it's just what I do. So I'm getting Samba just because I like his name. We're getting Samba. So now we have a cat in our kitchen. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what he can make for us. Now I don't remember the exact combinations for good meals. I probably will remember it when we get five cats to like the ultimate level. It's like blue cheese I think. Or not blue cheese. It's royal cheese or something. I don't know, but it gets your health and your attack up or something like that. That way you don't have to use a mega potion and stuff. And not, not mega, max potion. Oh, just, I just love this game, guys. It's, oh, the, the memories of this game. And I hope you guys are excited to start this series with me. All right, Saba, how are you doing today? <laughs> Meow! Welcome, Gash and Gnome. Thanks for hiring us. Hiring us, Samba. No, pussycat. It's just you. All right, pussy, let's go ahead and get me some food. All right, so we got chunky rice, meat scraps, powdered cheese, bone taco, hoppy. I don't know. Let's just let's just go with that. It sounds good. Now I'm not gonna watch this animation every single time. I'm gonna watch it once for each cat. So until we get five cats, and then I'm gonna be skipping it. All right, cat. Let's see what we got. Well, I mean, at least he didn't make me throw up and make me super sick. But uh, yeah, thanks. Alright, so let's see what else. We can knock out one more quest in today's episode, and then I need to really make a check mark on the urgent quest, because, you know, that's the thing that pushes people away from Monster Hunter, is they see the awesomeness on streams and videos of, like, giant mega hunts, but they then they get the game, and they're like, here I am picking herbs. What the frick, man? I want to go out and fight some big monsters. You gotta be patient with Monster Hunter. It takes some time to get into the epicness, but that makes it all the while. This little piggy right here was born over in my place. Hey, I he mind blowing the little polka's party for a bit. I just completely butchered. <laughs> I didn't even get it right. All right, piggy. Uh, welcome back. I don't want to. I don't. I want you to have a different costume, and I think I actually have a different one. I have my old ones. Um, from my other playthroughs. Uh, we really don't need any herbs or um potions right now, so we're not gonna worry about that. All right, level one. Oh no, we don't want to do the same thing. Eventually, I might do all the levels or all the quests. I just don't. I don't. I don't. 
Now, I think this one is required. Because that's where you run into Tigrex. Um, in the mountains. And then I think, I think, I'm almost positive this is too. So we're gonna do this. Now, I always start my Monster Hunter adventure with a battle axe. Or not a battle axe, but a, um, a sword and shield. And I always get it up to the poison battle axe. I've done it since the beginning. And so I'm gonna do it again, guys. That's what I'm gonna start with. That's not the main weapon that I use. The main weapons that I main in this game are uh, dual blades, long swords, hammers, and gun lances sometimes. I, I use every weapon. The only weapons I don't really use are just basic lances. Um, I don't really use bows. Um, I don't I don't use anything like that, but I this is the main stuff I use. I use sword and shield every now and then. I don't really use great swords that often. I'm trying to think of the new weapons that are in like um, whatever they're called. Uh, <laughs> 4 ultimate and you know generations because I do have Monster Hunter X. I just I, you know it wasn't it wasn't the same playing it in Japanese. I have played Monster Hunter in Japanese before, but once I realized it was announced for the West Coast, you know, I, I didn't want to I could wait. I want to wait till it comes in English so I can fully enjoy it with viewers and streaming and stuff. So Oh, dude, I just missed this game. And just, you know, my favorite thing is collecting the armors and stuff. Like, I might even do a video in Monster Hunter um, Generations of all weapons. Or all armors. Just all armors. And just so we can see the magnificence of it. Uh, there wasn't any Blangos in that world. I wasn't even paying attention. Hopefully there wasn't. So, um, let's just go back here. There should be, I think, two in here and one in seven. Oh, no, there's three up here. Oh, we only need three. Okay, that's later that you need five. But yeah, like most owners gonna have plenty of patience time, and it's always gonna be like that because sometimes you're gonna need 99 iron ore, and you have two iron ore. <laughs> so guess what you're gonna be doing for the next like six quests? You're gonna be going and mining in the volcano because it has the most mining spots. All right, Blingo. Dude, I'm sucking right now. I can't even kill Blingo. There's one. We're gonna get a carve in just because we get some Blango pelts. We can get the Blango Tacit early, early in the game, which has 36 defense, I think. Has a lot of defense, which is a great Tacit to go ahead and get um, early game. Gives you a great armor. It's probably the first armor I will get, and then I'll probably get Tigrex. I always get Tigrex just because I love them. And now I'm not gonna farm them on camera. That'll just, that's just annoying. I don't know why I used ever a sword and shield. This taking 10 years to kill them. Give me some pelt. What did I get first time? Did I get a pelt? I don't remember. Yes, we have two pelts. Awesome. Alright, so let's go. Let's kill him. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I just go flying. I'm really starting to lose my voice. I was going to record multiple episodes, but like, I have to cough so bad. I already even coughed. I pulled away from the mic, and I guarantee it still picked it up knowing my mic. <laughs> oh, God. And douche! Oh no, one more hit. Should be. Oh, I can't lock on, man. Oh, like I want another jumping hit. Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna predict anymore. Alright, there we go, let's go ahead and press select. I don't know why they took that away in the future games, because you can cancel the camera and start carving away. Um, uh, sharp call, we'll need that too. Alright, so yeah, this is gonna be awesome. The thing I'm kind of thinking about is maybe I should cut these 60 weight or like the cutscenes or the loading screens because that takes so much time. Like, we gotta wait 60 seconds from this, and I just gotta sit here and let you guys look at my screen doing nothing. Oh, I might as well go ahead and gather some herbs um, while we're here. But, uh, I mean, like, I just don't wanna have. Oh, I don't even know the button to do it. Okay, but uh, so yeah, I might be skipping that and skipping, you know, when we go back to the town and stuff. That way we don't have to just sit here and watch me do nothing. But um, yeah, thank you guys for like in uh, sitting through this entire episode if you're at the end right now. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. It's going to be the series up until Monster Dungeon Generations. I don't know if I'll be continuing it after that. Or I might be continuing it just a lot. Not as much, not as often. I'll be putting out so much Monster Hunter Generations. And it really depends about how many people are actually going to enjoy this. I have no idea. It might only be two of you right now. I might say, you know, break 100 likes and then we get two. So, you know, I mean, that's... It's gonna be far-fetched. I'll, I'll honestly be surprised. That's why I put it kind of high. I don't think that many Monster Hunter fans are on my channel, honestly. So we got our reward. Got plenty of things. We should have... We, we're gonna do a no-death run. We're not even gonna die in this whole thing. 
the first farm thing I need is to get the mining stuff. Uh, I can't wait till I get the mining bomb. That, t that saves so much time that you use going and, you know, mining in the volcano or the swamp or wherever you go. That's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series. I saw a lot of people on my 80,000 subscriber special thing. Or not really a special, but a channel update. Saying they want Monster Hunter. So this was the new series that I was doing. Just a fun little series to come back and play the classics up until we actually get Monster Hunter Generations. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to give the video a thumb, thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to follow me on Twitter and stuff. Say hi so I can get to know you. But as always, guys, this is not just a channel. It's a family, and I'll see you guys in the next Monster Hunter Unite video. Freedom Unite video. God, Dylan, you messed up your outro.